house on the 1017 through the most deserted country that I'd ever seen. Look out that window, pay attention to the vacant towns and the stations that we're hurtling through. What a situation. The likes of which you and I have never before seen. The situation unforeseen by the driver of the 1017. A medieval visitation by the devil himself in the guise of a satanic gene. Slipping out of Waverly on a night train and headed south like a clown in a curfew with a mask across my mouth. No sign of the guy who cries all tickets bleed. Scared to death any moment one of us might sneeze but at the next station if you're 17 and cough comes the conductor running up and throws you off. A whole generation facing a baby boomer catastrophe. A science fiction conflagration beyond the imagination of Isaac Asimov. It's not something I've thought about very much before, but the train is a very useful metaphor. Starting with that journey from Stockton on Tees, way, way back in the 1820s, making its way down into Darlington and later opening up more far flung towns. And step by step we boarded, backs turned on the plough, on a one way excursion, ticket in hat band, direct to the here and now. The train is the offspring of steam and white heat, delivered on twin girders that can never meet. Later, by oceanic ships were we cajoled, airships too, but the metaphor does still hold. And when the oil-thirsty cars finally broke through, our train doffed from its lofty carriage window, then huffed, and with a scornful cough of censure, she steamed on a further half-century. Today... A locomotive, it's an electrified missile, with all of us still on board, enthralled to its whistle. For that train is us, hurtling past branch lines and sidings, headlong for the big prize at the line's end, with us riding in winner-takes-all class into King's Cross, Waterloo, Gare du Nord, Grand Central Station, any terminus will do. At a gold rush velocity... Why stop at stations only to pick up and drop peasants and poor relations? OK, so today the train, she thinks she's the plane. But Baz boy, why you complain? Should she break, do you say? Maybe head back again? Head back? No way. But two centuries of steam and clickety-clack and electrification, it's no wonder we've run clean out of track. Folks of Chattanooga, Marrakesh, San Fernando, and in all of the places that the Rock Island line doth go, the train you see into the buffers it ran the moment it heard the grim news from Wuhan. Across these empty seats on my rush hour commuter train Feels like I'm travelling first class But I miss the cross all the same The world's still turning But there's no map And the ghosts of the tube still cry out Mind the gap Such an isolation Seven billion of us clinging on by cyber gravity 
much speculation heads its humanity, tells its depravity. Can the planet make a comeback? Held up in a tunnel or buried in a bottomless cavity? Can we all make a comeback or end up in a bottomless cavity?